Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we take a look at a very cool, very functional outpost from the Steam Workshop. Now I decided to look at this one today because I liked just how functional it would be within a survival aspect. It's got everything you need and it's got room to make it your own home. So this is actually Command Outpost 8 Tajir by Geeky. Now this is pretty cool. We can start with the exterior tour and then we'll pop inside. So the first thing you'll notice, it kind of looks a little bit like an alien spaceship, but I'll spot my character in over here just so we can get um, a sense of scale so you can see it's still quite big it has everything we need in terms of docking for smaller ships so you can have a few miners going in here you've also got docking ports for instance on the other side for actual larger ships as well so you can connect and resupply them up so let's actually have a look at the detailed work now the first thing i really like about this is the double sealed glass so you can see there's a layer of glass both sides and in case the outer area gets punctured you'll still remain pressurized that i think is pretty damn cool you can notice that they've got this ridge that's been cut into the outer sort of part of this ring as well adding a little bit of detail a bit of protection as well as that really cool green type color tone now you could probably change that up to whatever faction you belong to on the server and you could really rock this outpost it, it needs a few more weapons though in my opinion on the top you can see we've got ourselves two gatling turrets and two missile launchers as well as an antenna array now have a look at this guy this is ourselves a little bit of a docking port. We've got some cut down blocks on the outside, creating a bit of detail, but at the same time quite functional because this prevents ships from coming in tight and straight into the hangar bay. It means that they actually have to dock in through the front and as you're observing them docking, you can see them from the little command bridge there. Really cool indeed. You can see this lovely little bit of a glow that they've added by using some lighting. It just makes it feel like it's some sort of blast door that seals it from the outside. So as we come down, the actual ship or the station decides to narrow. Now I'm gonna call it a ship or a station because yes, you can move it. And that's quite important because you need to align these solar cells so that you can continue to run power through the system if you don't wanna actually rely on the reactors. So you can see in this section, once again, we've got the double layers of class and we've got a few thrusters spaced out. Now I just want you to take note of the lighting as well. You can see how the lighting is of course on a beacon, but it just illuminates it. stops them really bad pilots from flying straight into you, I guess, and thinking you're an asteroid. So coming a bit further down, we've got another sort of flying saucer type shape and more double sealed glass. That then takes us into this really cool extension with once again, two more Gatling turrets and two more missile turrets. Just look at that, that antenna array just looks so sci-fi-esque on the bottom. But anyway, let's take a look inside. So we'll activate our character and we'll fly in through the main airlock. Now they describe this of up to 10 engineers could work and live aboard this thing. And I think it could of course host a lot more, but it's got enough rooms for pretty much everything. So we'll enter through the airlock, we'll depressurize the thing because Aaron forgot to seal the doors. You can see we've got the pressurized system as well as a turret there just to deter anyone who wants to enter into this. Now they've not got the correct faction status. We've got all these empty rooms just ready for you to move in, move your equipment, maybe even convert these into hangers, whatever you'd like. You can see we've got med bays in this section. We've also got exposed piping running throughout. Now, the only downside I see to this particular outpost is this. This is how you navigate the station through this kind of narrow shaft in the center that I could see becoming damaged and you'd have some issues. So as we come down the stairs, we've got some doors that are of course sealed, but we also have access to these other sections. So this particular one is the reactor room nice and visible we'll go down to the bottom and then we'll work our way back up so you can see the view from inside it, it's really nice just looking out these windows onto a planet that's what i really like about a space station just the view that you get as well as being able to see all your ship all your faction members turning around you can see that there is some ladders that have been color coded when you reach that particular section so we'll pop out into the basement type floor where there's a lot of connectors here this is just more of a, a floor to do whatever you'd like with but you can see we've got a lot of room here to operate with as well as a really nice view let's go back up the shaft all the way to the command deck this time though so as we enter into here we're gonna use our special jetpack move ourselves up to the red floor that is locked i wonder why this is locked i've not actually looked in here yet. let's turn that door on and enter into here so this looks like it is some sort of server room we've got computers hidden behind these doors we'll 
we'll, we'll open these doors up and enter in. So yeah, we've got like a locked server room with timer blocks and other sequences going on in there. So of course that's an area you wouldn't want people getting access to. But I guess a good thing about this shaft is if people are trying to move up and down your ship, um, you could easily hold it off. You could put a turret at the end or even just aim some well-placed assault rifle fire. So we're back up on the docking level. We'll continue going up to the top floor. Now this is where the command room is located. So we've got these nice little viewing type bedroom areas on the side and we have the command room in the center. I love the idea of this. So you've got yourself a ball on a gravity, well not gravity table, it's like a gravity table, that's what I guess they're assuming it is. It's supposed to be a visualization of some sort of planet or control system, but it's just on a rotor like that. Looks absolutely stunning. We've got various different cockpits, control panels, so you can control all the functions of this vessel, as well as move it up and down and align it with the sun. So for instance, if the sun is over there, we can just shift the whole vessel and we can keep that constant full solar panel coverage so you'd have to be careful while doing this in case people are trying to dock and stuff but once you're in a position and then panels are actually charging you're pretty much set so i want to show you something a little bit different today i wanted to show you a station that is really really functional although i know a lot of you complain about designs i show on here is just not working in a multiplayer environment and i really feel that this station would make a great base for many of us in that situation Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.